LA Baptist Church. We're going to be doing distributions up there. So if you have families up in the Lancaster area that need food on Sundays or any other day, we'll get his contact information to you. But he's going to share the word of God with us today. So please give him some respect as, we, as he does. And listen to what the Lord has to say today to you. Amen. 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 God bless you guys. Thank you. Let's give the Lord a hand clap of praise. Well, good morning. I guess I'll stand up here. I kind of like being down, down at eye level with you guys, but I'll stand up here. You can come down when you want. Move we'll around. That's okay. You know, we often, in our culture, we often attribute some of the titles and things we put on people in the church, sometimes probably a little higher than we should, and pastor tends to have this really high thing, and, uh, and, and elders and deacons, and you know, pastors and those people are just people too. And I want to share with you a, something that I didn't, there was a Bible verse that I'd read for the longest time, and I just, it didn't make sense to me. It just seemed to um, just not make sense. I don't know how better to explain it, but I want to read you this verse. And then we're going we're gonna to go around, I'm, I'm going to go through a few other verses, and I want to kind of, as the Lord revealed it to me, and as I prayed about that the Lord would, would show this to me and reveal this to me, um, it, it brought such peace and clarity to this subject, and 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 it, it was it was really nice and so i want to share with you in uh first corinthians 14 33. some of you may have heard this verse but it says god is not the author of confusion but of peace and i when i would read that verse i thought okay i can accept that but peace isn't the opposite of confusion. So if God isn't the author of confusion, why doesn't it say God is the author of clarity? God is the God is God is the one who brings clarity to 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 everything. Why doesn't it say that? But rather it says peace. But why is God the author of peace? And and who's the author of confusion? Well, I don't think we're going to get into that. But you know, there's a there's a there's an Old Testament verse in Isaiah 9, 6 that says, For unto us a child is born, and unto us a son is given. The government will be upon his shoulders, and he shall be called Wonderful, Counselor, the Mighty God, the Everlasting Father, and the Prince of Peace. Right now I'm attempting to describe something that in Philippians says we can't describe. In Philippians 4, 6, and 7 it says, Be careful for nothing, but in everything by prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, let your requests be made known unto God. And the peace of God, which passes all understanding we we can do our best to try to understand the peace of god but there's no words that i could give to you that could that, that would help you to fully grasp the peace of god and the only way to this peace is through the prince of peace it was spoken of in Isaiah in the Old Testament years before Jesus came onto the scene. And this, this son that would be given to us would be called Emmanuel, which is interpreted God with us. And a virgin would conceive and bear a son, and thou shalt call his name Emmanuel. And Isaiah calls him the mighty God, the everlasting Father and the prince of peace. This world can sign peace contracts. This world can offer peace in many different ways, but the only way that we will ever find peace from the confusion and the ruckus that is in this world is through Jesus Christ. We have to turn to him, and he offers that peace. 
that peace I can't describe to you. The peace I can't even understand myself. No matter how lofty of a title somebody may have in this world, it's, it's the peace we all need. It's the peace that he's given to us when we turn to him. And the Bible says it this way, if thou wilt confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, thou shalt be saved. We must turn to him. And, and I love the name for this uh, ministry, Bread of Life. Because man, there's bread over there that we're going to need to come back for next week. And the week after that, and the week after that, and man doesn't live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeds from God. And God has offered us eternal life, but we have to turn to Him. There's two kings in the Old Testament in two cities. One is the city of Babylon king of Babylon. Babylon means confusion. And there's another king. And there's another city. And this city is Salem. Or we would probably refer to as Jerusalem. Which means peace. Jesus was the prince, the son of peace. The prince of and who became the king of Jerusalem and is the king of Jerusalem, the king of peace in our lives. And, and, and all throughout human history, there's this battle between confusion and peace from the beginning of creation till now, until he finishes it all. And he wants us to live with him forever in this city of peace where we have to turn to him. I challenge you. Turn to him today. There's, there's many, many, uh, many people here that would, would love to help you along that process if there's questions you have. Uh, but if you'd like to turn to him today, then turn to him. It's a lot simpler than sometimes we can make it out to be in our minds. And Satan will lie to us and say that it's more complicated than it is. But it really is simple. So, um, I think some, there's going to be somebody that's going to come after me and, and translate. Buenos días, hermanos. Como, como, como siempre, este, ahora me toca a mí reforzar y comentar en español lo que nuestros pastores, nuestros líderes comparten con todos nosotros.